Hello everybody, go back to another video. It is currently, it is 1.04 p.m. So we got a late start to the day, but that has a lot to do with the fact that I slept like at four in the morning, which is never good. But at least we got enough rest, I guess, because I never usually get enough rest. So what we're gonna do right now, it's a perfect time to go to the gym because one, like between like 12 to five is like, not a lot of people go to the gym at that time. So I'm gonna go, we're gonna hit legs and check this out guys. For the first time in my life, I'm wearing like, they're like shorts that like a little bit, like almost mid thigh, man. So it's, it's kind of weird. I feel, I feel a little funky, feel a little weird, feel a little like insecure-ish, but I mean, it is what it is. And like I told you guys before, I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine a little bit. So we are drinking some black coffee. <laughs> I'm trying to cut back on my caffeine, so I'm drinking black coffee. That makes no sense, but I'm trying to cut back on my like pre-workout type of caffeine. I'm trying to cut back on energy drinks. I just want caffeine straight from straight up Coffee beans, baby. And obviously wearing, wearing these short shorts, if we're not hitting legs today, so we're gonna go ahead and put in a scoop of this raw pump pre-workout. Yes, I've said it before, it tastes like booty hole, but the performance it gives, the pump it gives, pretty great, you know? So I'll definitely buy it again. It's not like I sit in the gym and sip on this like little sippy cup, like nah, man, we just take it to the dump and that's it, let's get to work. And one scoop of caffeine. Ca oh my God, I'm so dumb. One scoop of creatine. All right guys, so we are back home from the gym. We hit legs, it was an amazing leg day. I didn't do squats today, well I did with the Smith machine, but I'm trying to get away from doing squats just because I feel like every time I come back home from doing squats, like my back hurts. You know what I'm saying? Like it's not sore, but it fucking hurts. Like if I sit down for 30 minutes, I get up and I'm like, oh shit. You know, I don't know if it's the age thing or if my form is off, it has to be the form. Last week I tried to do squats after like not doing squats for like, six months, you know, it probably didn't, it was probably not a good idea. But anyways, we're back from Amazon Fresh. So we're gonna do a quick, tiny little mini grocery haul. Um, Amazon Fresh is a supermarket that I hate with all my, with my whole life, but it's literally like cross street, so I go to it whenever I need something, so let's go. First things first, we got ramen, a cup of noodles, because when there's no time, you just throw some shrimp in here. That's it, bang, bang, thank you, ma'am. We got some drumsticks for, for baby girl, because we gotta, she finished them already. We got udon noodle soup, again, the same concept. We oh, heat it up, throw some shrimp in there, some chicken, some steak. Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. Now, I've missed my crushed red pepper. I know I had a ton of it, but it's gone. I feel like y'all threw it away, but whatever, it's all good. So I bought another one uh, to make today, because today we're gonna make a dish to incorporate this. Now, I don't know why Amazon French does this. They always had this organic shit. I don't want organic shit. Organic costs like $2 more. I wanna save my $2. You know, I want, give me all the chemicals. Give me all the pesticides, bro. But whatever, that's all they had, so I had, to, I had to ride with it. We got some more of these because I like these, again, on a time crunch, you just put them in the air fryer. Kind of tastes like you're cheating a little bit because it tastes very delicious. The macros for one serving are 160 calories, seven fat and 16 protein. And I like to pair that with some papitas fritas, bro. You just put this shit together. Easy meal that takes like 10 minutes. Then we got some shrimp. Now guys, I'm gonna tell you guys one of my super secret nutrition dieting hacks for me. At all times when you're cutting, when you're dieting, there's two things that you need to keep in your house at all times. One of them is a frozen bag of shrimp because cooking this is super, super simple. It doesn't take long. And the other one is a rotisserie chicken breast. Now you think I'm lying? Look, look what I have defrosting right now in the sink. A bag of shrimp. And there's always gotta be one bag locked and loaded in the freezer. Now this is also super simple. Why? Because it has a shit ton of protein, two chicken breasts, the legs I give to Yas because she likes that dark meat. But I'm gonna show you guys what I make right now with this, which is gonna take like 10 minutes because it's already 3.30 in the afternoon. And guess what? Guess what? Of course! I've not had anything to eat all fucking day. I know, it's horrible. Um, I bought two Halo Top ice creams for myself. For myself. And finally we have some yellow fin tuna to make our little broke man poke bowls. They taste delicious. All right guys, so I'm gonna make something real quick. Very easy, very simple, very high protein. All right, so it's been like 10 minutes. So that's literally all it takes. All it is is french fries, rotisserie chicken, your choice of sauce. Sit, that's literally it. 
So we have two servings of Oral Ida frozen fries, which are 90 calories a serving, so 180 calories. And you get a good bang for your buck for 180 calories worth of french fries. Like, it's pretty, it's a pretty good, pretty good serving right there. Now y'all don't have to put as much chicken as I do. It's just, for me, it's already 3.30, so I have to like kind of catch up on my protein a little bit. So, so I season this with pepper and some Cajun seasoning. Right here I have seven and a half ounces of just rotisserie chicken. We're gonna sauce it up with a couple of servings of no sugar added raised barbecue sauce. And some yogurt ranch as well. A lot of protein, a good source of carbs, and even a little bit of fat in there. So we're gonna devour this. All right, y'all, so me and Yas got back from the park and some little homegirl was there selling her Girl Scout cookies. If they're getting their hustle on instead of trying to hustle someone, then, you know, I'm always game to, like, go ahead and support. So we got Samoas and Thin Mints. And we're gonna try them for the very first time here in live, live in Josh versus Fitness, man. So, and I'm gonna eat that with, um, like, a scoop and a half of Moon Pie protein. I heard these are bananas, man. I heard these are, are like, the, the almighty... Girl Scout cookie, so is it worth six dollars? I'll give that like a five out of ten. I'm pretty sure I like a Samoa. Damn, these look amazing. These look really good. Mm-hmm. These are it. I plan on doing a video very soon of me going down all the recipes in my channel and actually being honest with y'all. And then you guys know which ones I dislike and which ones I like because everyone when I recorded them, they all were delicious, but in reality I was just was being a little fake to be honest with y'all. So I plan on ask, telling you guys why I no longer follow the anabolic diet. And, and also I'm gonna be transparent and let you guys know which recipes I liked, which recipes I didn't. Because a lot of the recipes that were on my channel, I never made again, unfortunately, so. All right guys, I apologize because I feel like this whole video has been shot inside my apartment, just inside the kitchen. I'm a little grouchy. Cause I'm very, very tired, I'm very exhausted. But we still gotta get this final meal in. And for this final meal, obviously, if you guys follow me, if you guys have seen throughout my day, I just make some pretty simple meals. And I mean, when I say simple, I mean like very simple. Like I don't need to stress in the kitchen for 45 minutes to an hour. I mean, I don't have to buy anything crazy from the market. I just like my meals to be simple. So for this one, you just need three ingredients. Three, uno, dos, tres. A bag of chopped broccoli, as much shrimp as you want, and Alfredo sauce. That is it. Broccoli's done, shrimp is done. We're gonna grab two servings of the Alfredo sauce of your choice, and we're just gonna dump it on. Obviously, ob obviously Josh, obviously. Red pepper it up. This is optional, obviously, but for, as for me and my house, we shall serve the Lord. And some crushed red pepper to make it all better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If the, if the, Protein ain't gonna fill you up, it's gonna be the volume of the meal. If it ain't gonna be the volume of the meal, it's gonna be the fibrous vegetable, the delicious vegetable, broccoli. If that ain't gonna fill you up, then all three factors are gonna fill you up. The volume, the protein, the fibrous vegetables. I mean, oh, delicious, man. So to top it off, you know what I'm saying? Have a little more, you want a bite? Been a long time, long time, shouldn't have left you, left you. Da -da 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 -da. Step two, step two. Sorry, when I get tired, I start acting a little wacky, but. In here, guys, we have all the protein, 50 grams of protein, at least. We have fiber, we have micronutrients, we have Alfredo sauce. That's literally it, guys. Three fucking ingredients to make this nice bowl of health. What, what, I don't, I can't make it any much easier for you guys, man. These are like little diet hacks that are all around us, but we live in a complicated, we want to overcomplicate shit. Don't burn yourself out. 
it's your journey, baby. It's your journey. If I see you guys tomorrow, then I'll see you guys tomorrow. If not, then I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. I've eaten this quite a bit. I ate this a lot, like two summers ago, like almost every day. So I know it's gonna be good. This is like right in my wheelhouse. Hopefully you guys try it and enjoy it. It's very hot. And don't forget to crush red pepper, baby. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna eat this, go to bed. We're doing it again tomorrow. You already know, so see you guys tomorrow. Peace.